Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to talk about modify snap align objects. And we have several options in here. And first we're going to go over the first op option, point to point. But first let's set up my scene and we're going to create a cube. And create polygon primitives, cube. Got one cube here, I'm just going to duplicate it. Move it over here. So snap align is you're aligning two objects together. You're snapping one object to another to line them up. And particularly we have different ways of doing that with these tools. But the first one is aligning point to point, meaning the point from one object aligns with the point to another one that you specify. And then there's options here that we'll get to in a second. Let me just edit, reset these options to make sure that I have my default settings. So the way this works, we have our two objects that we wish to point to point align. Select them both and go into component mode, which you can hit the, the F8 key to do. Or up here in the UI you have, right here this is object mode, which is what I'm in right now. And to the right of it is select by component type, which is component mode. Just click that. The objects turn blue and you can select components as opposed to the entire object. And this is point to point, so we're going to select vertices. So I'm going to select this point, for example, this corner on this cube, hold shift and select this point on this cube. And we want to snap these two points together, but at the same time we're moving the objects, we're not moving just the points. For example, I could select this point and snap it to that point. It moves just that point, but I want to move this entire object and have that point snap to that point. So again, I'm hold, selecting this point first, hold shift, and select this point. So the first point you select is the one that's going to move. The second point you select when you hold shift is the point it's moving to. So with these two uh, points selected, these two vertices, I'm going to go to modify snap align objects point to point. You just click it and you see that my first selected cube moved over and those two points are now snapped together. And that's pretty much all there is to it. But there is a couple options that we'd like to go over first. Let's go to the point to point options. And there's not much here. We simply have move object parent grandparent and these are just toggleable uh, options and what this simply means is that whenever you move the object to snap a line to another point this is whether you want the parent or grandparent of that object to move with it and I'll demonstrate that so let's select this cube and I'll just simply duplicate it move it up and scale it down so it's a little smaller and then do it again. So now I have three cubes and I'll select the first cube, the larger cube, hold shift and select the middle cube and hit the P key. Press P which is the shortcut for modif sorry, edit parent. So I parented the large cube to the medium cube. So when I select the medium cube the large cube also moves. But it is a separate object. So now I select the medium cube, hold shift, and select the smaller cube, and hit P again. So if I go into my outliner, you can see I have this hierarchy of P cube 4 is the parent of P cube 3, which is also the parent of P cube 2. So what this means is P cube 2, or this larger cube down here, is the child of P cube 3, the medium one. So the medium one is the parent of the large one. And then the smallest one is the grandparent of the large one. So child, parent, grandparent in this hierarchy here in the outliner. And this one is just by itself, which is fine. So now I'm going to move this larger cube over here and snap it point to point to this cube over here and it has a parent and a grandparent. So we'll select these two, 
go into component mode, choose the point I wish to move and the point I wish to snap it to by holding shift, modify, snap align objects, point to point, and the options here will keep the uh, default object first. So object, hit apply, you'll see that my large cube moved over here and snapped to the other cube. Undo that. Now I'll choose parent. Nothing changes in my selection, I just chose the parent option, hit apply. So now you see that the parent cube moved with the child. Undo that and select grandparent, hit apply. Now you see the parent and the grandparent both moved with the child. So what this allows you to do is when you're snap aligning one object to another, if it is within a hierarchy where this object is when your object is a child of other objects in, a, in the hierarchy where you have a parent and a grandparent or even more than that, you can tell it to move those, par those parent objects with the original object also, instead of having to align them after the fact. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's again the modify snap align objects point to point. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit. If you have any requests or suggestions for future videos, please let me know. And thanks again for watching.